Good morning guys, welcome to Sugarloaf, Florida. I say good morning because currently it is morning time here. We have a little bit of time before we go out on the boat because as you can see, it's a little bit cloudy. So instead of charging out and getting caught in the storm, we're gonna give it about an hour and then we're gonna go out. In the meantime, I figured what's better to do than make some amazing fresh hogfish ceviche. If you've never had ceviche, you are missing out. You gotta try it. So let's go, we'll get to it right now. really rough out and really shallow water. My mom shot this one. She actually shot the two biggest hogfish of the day yesterday. Look at this snooter. What the heck? And you know what I shot? It's sun. Disappointing. Anyway, I'm sure everybody knows how to clean a hogfish. If not, I'm not gonna do too much talking, but you can follow along, it's pretty easy. So a little bit of info about hogfish. Hogfish are absolutely delicious. There's, if you ask almost anybody, they're probably one of their top 10 favorite fish if they've tried them. They've got really white meat, which you guys are gonna see in a minute. They're flaky, they're sweet, they're delicious. There's really no wrong way to cook them. People like to fry them. I'm not a huge fried fish fan, so this is probably my favorite way of eating them, is ceviche. Hogfish, also referred to as hog snapper, are a member of the wrasse family. And just like lane hogs, they use their snout to forage for food on the ocean floor. Their diet consists mainly of shrimp, crabs, snails, and other crustaceans that they find while foraging. Their main size is typically from three to six pounds, with the world record being 21 pounds. Okay, woohoo, it's slippery. There we have it, check out, get in on this meat. So like I was saying, super white, clean, delicious taste. Here's our carcass, so did pretty good overall. Get in on this hogfish mouth and teeth if you can. It's missing his bottom tooth. Usually they have two. All right, now let's knock off the other side. Now that we're done filleting, I'm gonna show you guys what we've got here, the end final product. This right here is just the rib cage. You can't do anything with that, it's just bone. So that's why it's there. I'm gonna debone these fillets and then get them ready for a ceviche. Hey, it's baby crab, sorry. Okay, knocking the skin off real quick, nothing too lengthy. And then we're gonna take it upstairs and do the magic with the ceviche. This is my dad's ceviche recipe. His is my favorite of all that I've had, so we're gonna use that one. Perfect fillets. Look at that. Doesn't get much better than that. Mm. Now that I have a sharper knife than I did with that poor flounder. Voila. Okay, so the bones on the hogfish, got your rib cage bones, that's what I was talking about when I said that uh, that's why we miss that piece on the filet, it's all ribs. Still picked up a little, it's kind of inevitable. So, 
Nobody likes bones in their ceviche, so we're gonna get rid of these. Also, why we try to shoot the bigger fish, is you get more meat off of them, and uh, their, their yield to bone ratio is a lot better. Legal hogfish size down here is 16 inches, um, which, you know, doesn't sound huge, but honestly, they gotta be pretty big. They gotta be pretty big to be legal. It used to be sm really small, and um, they, I think that they realized like people were putting a hurting on the hogfish community and they needed to stop. And since then, we have seen a ton more hogfish. Not so much big ones yet, because it's only, this, this law has only been enacted for a couple of years now. Um, they also lowered the, the amount that you can keep, which is good. And since then, we've seen a lot more hogfish. You know, it's, it's good to watch a species make a comeback. So into our bowl they go and back upstairs. We gotta do a sneak peek of what's down here first because I am so curious, other than these baby mangroves. I kind of wonder if I should can hand feed one. I am hand feeding these baby minnows and they are so adorable. Watch this, they're ferocious. Oh my gosh. What we've got here is our ceviche layout. So to wrap it up for you guys, we've got limes, lemons, mango, onion, garlic, cilantro, avocado, olive oil, Key West spice seasoning. Usually we do an orange. We don't have one today. Sometimes we do peppers. Just kind of mix it up and uh, go with your preferences. We're gonna cut up this hogfish and I'm gonna cut it up relatively small. So to start it off, I think I'm gonna go down here because we want our cubes about this big. So I'll cut down. And then for size, nobody wants like tiny chunks, but also nobody's gonna want massive chunks. So I'm kind of thinking I cut it again and then go this way. into our glass bowl. Cue the music, cause we're going in. Now that our fish is all in the bowl, we're gonna do our limes. Now with limes, if you guys don't haven't used limes or don't use them often, they're typically very dry. So I roll them first. That helps, you know, kind of get a little bit more juice out of them opposed to not rolling them. Cut them this way. We've got our handy dandy strainer. So we're gonna wanna strain all of this through it. And I'm sure that I'm gonna get a bit of sting action going on because Last time we went to Robbie's, if you watched the previous video, I got tore up a little bit. Not as bad as I usually let it happen, but still got pop. We're way deep into the lime squeezing process. My hands are burning. Thankfully, Taylor came in clutch and chopped them all up for me. And my dad's helped me squeeze a couple, but I'm getting kind of tired of squeezing. Now it's lemon time. Apparently, I was going a little bit too slow, so Dad and Taylor jumped in. Got Dad chopping up the garlic. He literally just stole my knife from me. Taylor 
chopped up an onion. Look at that fine work. And they are doing, Taylor's doing super fine bits for the onion and same with the garlic. We've got our lemon and lime juice. My mom brought us out a little shot of orange juice to put in there too since we uh, forgot the oranges. Me, I forgot the oranges. And we've got our lime for zesting and it's all about to go in on our delicious fresh hogfish. So before we cut all of our other stuff up, I'm gonna add in our lemon and lime juice because this is going to, I'll wait till I'm done pouring. This is going to be the agent that actually cooks the fish so that it's not raw. The acidity in it is going to overpower and it's going to cook it in a way. We're gonna add in our shot of OJ for a little bit of sweetness. Fresh, of course. <laughs> Fresh from the bottle. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of a stir. Beautiful. Okay, so now while I'm chopping everything else up, that can start its cooking process. Next up, mango. This adds a little bit of sweetness to it and makes it really good. So this is a little bit softer than we'd like, but we're gonna work with it. So I'm not gonna put the whole thing, just the pieces that are a little bit less ripe. All right, that's probably good for that. Okay, we've got our mango, our garlic. I'm actually gonna try a piece of the mango because Taylor was eating it and it was good. Oh, wow, that's really good, wow. Okay, so avocado. Chop this up nice and small too. And if we zoom in on the fish, we see that it's already starting to turn white. The only thing I forgot to do was add in some lime zest. Add in our onions. Don't want to mess up your recipe here. Cilantro. Cilantro. Garlic, mango, and avocado. I'm gonna put more avocado than this, but for now. Do a shot of <laughs> olive oil. Key West seasoning. Show us the the good stuff. I'll be kind of liberal with this. <laughs> this is our almost finished product. Now we just have to leave it in the fridge for about four to six hours. We've got one avocado, one mango, half an onion a clove of garlic, like eight limes, two lemons, uh, cilantro, olive oil, and our seasoning. Did I miss anything? Orange juice. Oh, a shot of orange juice too. Uh, fresh orange, preferably. Fresh Someone orange, preferably, it. but I forgot it. So we're using orange juice. It's going to be delicious, and we've got a whole hungry family that's gonna be counting down until it's done. So we'll put this in the fridge and be on with it. We just got in from the boat and uh, I showered off real quick. We've got everybody in here. Well, not everybody. Some of, some of the other family members are showering. Taylor is whipping up Korean beef, my favorite meal. It looks amazing. But they're all chomping at the bit to get the, to the ceviche, so I've got to move quick before it, get, it ends badly. So let's get in the fridge here. It's been sitting for probably close to eight hours now. Look at Chad, just waiting. Don't you dare dig into this before everybody's seated. What's gonna happen? Can we put any certain dishes on it? Oh no, this is, I think uh, this one will be fine. Don't you dare reach oh, the bottom. We're finally to the point where we're about to eat it. We're missing like five people, but uh, I think everybody's a little bit scared of me at the moment. I've yelled at them so much not to touch it. Here we go, dive in guys. Let's see the results. I'm gonna get a chip here. Give him a spoon. <laughs> a spoon, Jack. Oh, Delaf on here. It 
Like, say something. This looks amazing. Oh my god, David. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> This is really good. It's like the best thing I'm ever Very gonna get. Whoa! Okay. Papa, when you when you try it, you gotta make like an extreme. I haven't even it yet. <laughs> but in reality, I'm gonna I'm gonna rate it a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. So, <laughs> just, uh, all right, I'm coming over. That's kind of what I'm Better sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, honestly. Are we got? We... Yeah, you, you try it. How yes. is it? My, the official test oh tester God. right here. Um, all right, official taste tester. Papa, the official taste tester. Ceviche, Cheyenne ceviche. Mm. Oh, good, mm. good. Absolutely great. Taylor? This is really good. Cynthia's first bite. It'll make you want to slap your mama. Mm -hmm. mm. Good, good. Very good. All right, oh Dave, hold the camera. I got to go in for mine. Mm. Not necessary. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm. All right. The orange juice is a good. Right? right? The orange juice puts a good a little bit of flavor. She's I like so the little soy tea. sauce. This is like Chef Ramsay over here. Have you seen Big Sam? How afraid are you? I don't know. Too good. She's gonna get me with this dull spoon. Hunter, get back in here. Stop it, Dave. So who are we missing? We're missing Dad, mm. Uncle Ryan, Aunt Brandy. Hey, and Skylar, nowhere to be seen. That means more for yeah, I mean, Exactly, that's yeah. what I was thinking. The uniform round. Okay, go go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that concludes it. Best hogfish ceviche you can get. The mango. Um, the mango. Must add mango. Must add avocado. Uh, what else do we put? Gotta add orange juice, or it's just not the same. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Comment, let me know when you try it and if you liked it. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.